My name is Zoe Shane Farber. I'm from Ottawa, the capital of Canada. I'm an assistant professor of engineering management and systems engineering in the School of Engineering at GW. I believe in the space program, I believe in space science, and I, I want to contribute to that. So systems engineering as a discipline came out of um, all of the missile work that was being done. After the Second World War, going into the Cold War, it was the first time that you really needed a lot of different disciplines to work together. In the context of a missile, it was electronics working with mechanical systems, which had never happened before. And the discipline of systems engineering emerged so that we could plan these very large projects. So the, the question that I was interested in is, is how innovation happens in government space agencies. And what my research really does is explains how at every level of the system, people are making these decisions. And it allows you to link a major centralized investment to the kind of impact that it would have on the next generation of space missions. Because you want to make sure that the technology you're going to need 20 years down the road has been invested in over those 20 years or it becomes a very expensive mistake later down the road. When I saw the opening at GW, it just seemed like a perfect combination. I could be in an engineering school, in an engineering management department, and close to the only space policy institute in the world, which I now have an affiliation with as well. And I could get students who worked full-time at NASA. I could bring my students to actually talk to the scientists and technologists, because to answer these really practical yet theoretical problems, you needed to have a good mix of some ivory tower, but also some hands-on experience working with the people who, who do this great work. I think that as a society, we need to have some people who are really pushing the boundaries and giving everyone something to, to dream about. And that's why I keep coming back here to answer questions that are really important and will change the way that we understand how the, the world works. Um, and you can answer some of those questions on Earth, but a lot of them really are still in, in space. This is the George Washington University, and what we make is history.